Hey guys, and welcome to my huge laundry day. You guys know it. I am backed up in laundry and I just love making these videos to help motivate you guys to tackle your laundry. So if you are in need of some laundry motivation and you clicked on the right video, we are starting off by getting all of the dirty clothes around the house. I wanted to pull the sheets off of my son's beds, both of them, because Ethan, my one and a half year old, decided to bring his crackers into his brother's bed. So there were crackers and crumbs and everything in his bed. So we're just gonna go ahead, pull both of their sheets off, wash them and gather all of the clothes around the house. And then you guys will see how much laundry I had to get done. But if this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Ashley and I am a stay at home mom to four. I create tons of cleaning motivation as well as some motherhood and lifestyle content. So if that's what you're interested in, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and join my YouTube family. since there were so many crackers in the bed when I pulled the sheet off, I needed to vacuum. So I'm just gonna quickly vacuum up these crackers before jumping into all of this laundry. Now this is all of the clothes combined together that I need to get done. I was hoping to get it done within the day, but you guys will see, I wasn't able to finish it. So I end up having to finish it the next day, but I definitely needed to tackle this laundry because I was so far behind. But before I got started, I just wanted to make my bed because I do like to dump all of my laundry out on my bedroom floor, just so I can sort it more easily and see exactly how much laundry I have to get done. So I just made my bed super quick before dumping out all of the laundry to sort. And I really feel like doing it this way kind of pushes me to continue and finish the laundry because before I would just pull them out of the basket and then I would often forget that I was doing laundry or I had a load in the wash. And I feel like doing it this way, it is a constant reminder because if you go into your room and you see all your piles of laundry, you're like, oh my goodness, I have to get this laundry done for one, because now I have a mess all over the place. And for two, you just see how much laundry that you have to get done because I honestly will leave the clothes in the baskets in the kids' rooms, in the laundry room, and you don't really feel like you're that backed up until you combine it. So if you guys also struggle with getting super behind, definitely give this a try. It really does motivate me to just get it done. And I typically do this about once a week because that's usually when I start getting pretty backed up. This is definitely not my everyday laundry routine, but this is usually at least every week to two weeks. Do what we want to, do what we need to do. Staying up all night, everything is all right. Oh, I wanna be with you, oh, I wanna be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your head. I don't even know if you can understand how you make me feel like I got you in my head. I recently tried out the Persil pods and I love the smell of them, but it was irritating my skin a little bit and I noticed the same thing for my boys. So I went ahead and bought the Tide pods. If you guys watched a previous video, you'll see I bought it in bulk from Sam's Club. So I have a ton of pods, 
but it comes in like the flimsy bags. So I've just been dumping them into the Persil container, but those are actually Tide Pods and I am obsessed with downy fabric beads. I love so many of their scents. Their Refresh Rainforest one is my number one, but this cotton one is definitely my number two, but downy is my go-to for fabric beads. getting a bit later in the day. My kids are now out of school, so I thought it was perfect timing to start the blankets because I don't like to start them too late in the day where they don't have enough time to dry, but I also don't like to do them first because it typically takes at least two cycles in the dryer. So I'm getting those started so my son will have his blanket for bedtime. He loves sleeping with that Pokemon blanket. That one is his favorite. And when I am recording this, it is a Friday and on the weekend, I let him sleep with his sisters because they have direct TV in their room. So they'll stay up a little later watching TV together and hanging out. So I wanted to make sure that I had his blanket ready for him to bring into his sister's room for the weekend. to quickly run and get a H-E-B curbside pickup. So I thought I would just share with you guys what I got. So I picked up the H-E-B diapers because we're about to run out and I already made my trip to Sam's so I just bought some from there. We needed some more bottled water and I use these gallons for my Keurig. Picked up some more bananas. Of course, Ethan already got into them. We got some strawberries. The kids wanted bagels, so I got them some blueberry bagels. My husband's sweet tea. I got him also some of these oatmeal cream pies. These are his favorite snack. Got a huge bag of oranges. I'm making the kids take at least one fruit with them to school, so those are one of their favorite things to pack in their lunches. I'm almost out of garlic powder, so I got some garlic powder. These are our favorite country style gravy for when we do biscuits and gravy. Has been ran out of cologne. So I just went and got him, I just got him some of this Axe for now until I can go get some actual cologne. And we got the Colgate Optic White. Some celery to, this week I'm gonna be making minestrone and I ran out of celery. Also picked up my husband's deodorant. Got the kids some more children's Tylenol because we have a stomach bug right now. Once again, Adrian is home from school, so got some more Tylenol. The kids some bubblegum flavored toothpaste. Picked up the HEB brand mac and cheese just as a side. 
got some ramen just because it's always nice to have that for like super quick dinners when you know life gets busy so I like to have some on hand picked up almond milk to go with the kids cereal some peas because when I do make them ramen I do put peas in their ramen so I like to have some peas in the freezer picked up some biscuits for the biscuits and gravy we were out of well, we're almost out of um, dishwashing pods, so I picked some of the HEB brand one up to give it a try. I haven't tried them out before. Got some bell peppers. I'm gonna be making chicken spaghetti and I need bell peppers for that. Got some of these shredded wheat cereal. I got a zucchini for my minestrone. I got the kids some popsicles for dessert at nighttime. They love having, you know, just something. And these are one of their favorites, especially when it starts getting really hot outside. I got two things of eggs. And I also picked up some salt for our water softener. And the total for all of this was $105. We have really been trying to buckle down and get on a budget because I spend so much money on food. So I'm trying to stay between 100 and 150 per week. So we'll see how that goes. I will update you guys, but I went ahead and meal plan. So I just quickly wrote it down on this little list. That way it was easy for me during the week. So today is Friday. We're gonna have barbecue chicken and potatoes. We're gonna have grilled cheese and salad tomorrow. My husband is actually out of town, so I take advantage and do easy stuff. And then Sunday, I'm gonna make lasagna with crescent rolls. Monday, I'm gonna make my minestrone. Tuesday, we're gonna have chicken spaghetti, and I usually make a really big thing of it so we can have leftovers on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'm gonna make that ramen with peas, something simple, and then I will grocery shop again next Friday. guys are enjoying this video so far please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out so much if you guys don't know being a small youtuber it really does make a huge difference when you leave us a thumbs up so if you do like it please don't forget to hit that big thumbs up button I greatly appreciate it but now I am folding my towels. These are absolutely my favorite thing to fold because they're so easy and there's just something so relaxing about folding warm towels. Let me know if you feel the same way about it. I bet you think that I should calm down Thinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that long Since I met you for the first time should work it out you know we should work it out before i'm too invested I should so i thought i would share with you guys how to fold a fitted sheet because i feel like they are one thing that everyone seems to struggle with folding and i struggled for a really long time up until recently one of my really good friends here on youtube her channel name is Brittany Serrato. She had showed us how to fold a fitted sheet and it definitely helped me out so much. Now I know how to do it. So all you have to do is lay your fitted sheet down, take one side where the pockets are, you flip the pockets inside out and then you're gonna tuck them into the other pockets. That way they fit nice and together, nice and neat. And then you're gonna take the sides where they're a little 
rough and bumpy and you're gonna try to straighten them out fold them in to make a nice straight line and then you fold it in half again and then whenever you do a bigger sheet you can fold it three times depending on how big it is but definitely go rewatch if that didn't make sense but it's so simple once you get it down you will not believe that you ever struggled folding a fitted sheet I really hope that helped some of you guys out there because you will not believe for 30 plus years I struggled folding a fitted sheet. It is finally time to put the last load of laundry into the wash. It was getting super late. I believe by this time it was around 10 or so. So the goal was to get this one washed and put into the dryer. That way the next morning I would just have to fold the last two loads of laundry because it was getting so late. I did not want to stay up past midnight. I really try to get to bed by 11 or 11 30 because if i don't get my sleep i am so crabby i am not one of those people that can function on a little bit of sleep <laughs> let me know if you guys are the same way always hang my husband's shirts up to dry just so they don't shrink and the left side is where I like to hang the wet ones but as you can see it was starting to get pretty full over here so I needed to go ahead and put them back onto the right side of the closet color coordinated the happy ending. Mm -hmm. we're the good part we never fake it Now it is time to finally get to these last two loads of laundry. These were definitely by far the biggest ones and the most to fold, but it honestly feels so good when you get done with all of your clothes. It just feels like a great refresh and start, so I definitely recommend doing this at least every one to two weeks if you often get backed up like I often do.
Every night I'm going on the grid Texting back, I want you Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came in way too strong Cannot keep it low key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep Into this flow A zero-sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Now I'm finally putting that sheet back on my son's bed, which it really wasn't a big deal because like I said, on the weekend, he sleeps with his sisters. So I really do try to plan it on the weekend because then I know I don't have to stress about getting his sheets done on time and stuff like that. And I have so many backup sheets for Ethan for his crib. I honestly need to get more for us because it really is a pain not having a backup sheet whenever you are washing and you don't know if you're gonna get done on time. Let me know, do y'all have a backup sheet for your bed or no? I really think I want to get one because it really would make my life so much easier. Ethan loves putting socks on, but he is so bad about running with them and falling. So I try not to let him wear socks often, but he wanted them on because he saw them in the basket. So I had to put on a pair of socks for him, even though he ended up taking them off a million times and bringing them back to me to put them back on again. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Coming to the end of all of this laundry motivation, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. It really does help support my channel and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family if you haven't yet. I do upload at least two to three videos weekly bringing all of the cleaning motivation and motherhood content. So I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.